Hey there again, folks. Welcome back to Riddles of the Past. Let's go and... I think I know what we need to do. I think we need to put a damper on this guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh! Wow! The robot has been deactivated. Now I can look around. Wow, that was amazing. Yeah, it's pretty catastrophic. Water and technology does not mix. Apparently. Okay. Ah. Okay, that's one thing we need for over, toward, over that way. Mayfield, 1964. The decisive game of the tournament is coming up. Lucky us will be the home team. Hopefully Emily will come too. There's no doubt in my mind that she is the best cheerleader and the most beautiful girl in town. May 7, 1964. We did it! We're the champions! Besides, I have been awarded the town's annual prize. Plus, good old Clark has come back to town. I have not seen him since the time he left to go to school. May 11, 1964. I proposed to Emily and she said yes. Without a doubt, I am the happiest person alive. May 14th, 1964. Wow, they did not waste any time! Getting ready for the wedding. Plenty of errands to run, but they are all pleasant. That's alright. I'll relax tonight. Clark has asked me over. Not wasting any time at all. Now I remember. Fred told me he loved me and asked me to marry him. I was so happy. <laughs> Maybe she... I bet she stole her own diamond ring. <laughs> That, that would be ironic. Got a master switch. Not just a switch, but a master switch. Is that everything? I think that's everything from in here. I think. I thought once I killed that thing that the frame rate might go back to normal. But it didn't quite do it. it didn't quite work. Aha! We can do this. Hit the figures with the hammer to re to reset the computer or the counter. Okay, so it can only go down. Boom! Got it. Ow, that was brutal. Like, whack. She don't give no care. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Find the ten find ten differences between the images in the mirror. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. She's not wearing fishnets. Sunglasses. Bandana. And there with her buckle, maybe. Oh, she, the, her dress isn't like that. Ah, her sleeves are different there and there. Oh, and necklace. Okay. Oh my gosh! Wow! What a terrible way to... Uh, it's awful! What is she supposed to think? I broke all the mirrors! I'm ugly! <laughs> it's awful! That's an awful thing, game. You're terrible! There's no cylinder in this niche. Well, now there is. Okay. Using clue on the stage, set the correct images on the cylinder. Okay, well. It's not really a clue, it's just telling me what to put. Okay, I'll go with it. Boom! Okay, the zipper needs a runner. Kind of inappropriate. We're gonna check. 
We're looking inside the, uh, the teddy bear's uh, <laughs> junk. Hey, zipper runner. Is the key to wind it up? That's just a hook, yeah, that's not anything for that. The cover's connected to the lever on the pipes. Okay. Okay, can't use that yet. Well, let's go and use this. Winding key, okay, well we can use this now. Okay. You guys wondering what was gonna happen? Like something's gonna happen, right? Right. It's crystal clear now. The drawing de develops when you bring it close to a heat source. Okay. Cool. Valve. Wait. Okay, I guess he can't... I guess there's no, uh... Direction... He can't alternate directions. Oh, crap. I've already screwed up. Oh, there's two different ones. Okay, there's... That one that goes that well, I've I've screwed up now. Reset. Okay, so that one. Dang it, I just screwed up. Dang it. Okay. I will get it. I will get this. So that way, that way. Right. And that. And that. Right. Right. So that, 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 that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Gotcha. It doesn't have to be in a certain order. It just has to be in the right area. Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. <clears throat> for a long time after my escape, I have been looking for Emily, but it, <clears throat> she's, she, it seems she has fled up town along with the rest. Mechanical hounds are roaming the streets here, and the place is... And the place just isn't safe. Early tomorrow morning, I will sneak into my house, pack a few mementos, and leave this place forever. Screw that! <laughs> okay. I think that's all to do here. I think. We've done everything there. Where do we like that we need to, to do? Everything is done here, right? Yeah. We have that that needs to be done. What about over here? Is there anything that needs to be done over here? Let's look at the mount. Ah, way over here, okay. Okay, well now we have access to this side of town. Okay, cool. Let's keep going then. Got whole new places to explore. Very fortunately that, uh... That some of the stuff, that this stuff is all placed uh, exactly where it is. Because if, if some of the stuff that we needed before was behind that cart, then, well, we would have been screwed. Oh. Need to help the doggy. It needs a bulb. It's not very bright. The dog has to have something. Needs some light. Okay. Some kind of crowbar. Well, I have that. Don't mind me, dog. I'm just going to do this. You know, you just stay there. Oh, wooden planks. Cool. Need the right key. Okay. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Okay. 
Okay. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, well, we're one away from that, so we can probably get something now, huh? Yep. Cool. Yep, that right there. Awesome. <clears throat> Okay, we got a bulb now, so we can help the dog. Charge your battery there, hmm. <laughs> okay, well that was useful. Many thanks to the robo do robot dog. The key was, was right in the doghouse. Yeah, you could've just stuck your hand in there to find that. I guess he would've known that. But... I mean, it, I don't think it's that dark where you couldn't see it. I'm so glad you're back. As long as the transmitter on the town hall roof is operating, we won't be able to leave town. Please, disable the transmitter to disrupt Clark's control over the robots. So this Clark guy is controlling the robots? I was able to strip one of its receivers, but this robot has got a strong hold on my hand. As far as I know, there's a remote control for the robot in the mayor's office. Try to find it, because the robot won't let me go otherwise. What if you need to take a dump? Here's a key to the mayor's office. I'm afraid I won't be able to help with much else. Okay. Be careful, Emily. And please, come back as soon as you can. Okay. Sure. I like how the robot's not gonna stop, try to stop me at all. It's like, whatever. I don't care. You do what you do. Okay, so that's a whole nother key. Okay. Okay, wire three. Okay. Not just, not wire one and wire two, but wire three. Okay. Seriously, the rope. The robot's not stopping me at all. That, that's pretty hilarious. Well, sorry, Fred. I guess I'm just out. <laughs> okay. I need a battery there. Hmm. Okay, cool. We got everything we need for that. Awesome, awesome. Turn the power on the lantern. I could use that. We don't have a battery to use it, though. Do you have a battery we could borrow there, Fred? Hmm. Oh! I guess he did. That looked like it was about to hit him! <laughs> He's like, whatever, I don't care. Hit me, I don't know, whatever. Knock me out. I know he has a gruff voice like that. Okay. Ooh, we need a lot of things. Spring and wire. Oh, got spring right there. And do we have any wire? Wire, 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 wire. No, we did. What did that do? Follow the clue on the newsstand's pillar to enter the correct uh, enter the correct code. Eight three three. Okay. Again, it's not really a code, it's just telling me what to do. 833, yep. Has been awarded the town's annual has award has been awarded the town's annual prize for the best cafe in the state and free lemonade for the children. 1961, Robert Andrew Elliott, owner of and of the of, and the bartender of the Lucky Gold, better known in town as Our Bob. Our Bob. Award Town's annual prize in recognition of his impeccable 20-year service. 
1962, Samuel Nicholas Greenberg, Riverside Sheriff, has been awarded the town's annual prize for winning the state championship multiple times. 1963, Fred Douglas Hatton, captain of Riverside Wolves soccer team. See, now it's... It's just soccer! Has been awarded the town's annual prize for implementing a new floodgate control system at the town's hydroelectric plant. 1964, Clark Winston Farnby, the youngest PhD in the state. Okay, what did that do for us? Ah. Gotcha. So I need to... Need to switch it up. Gotcha. Gotcha. You can say, what, what did that have to do anything? But now I know. Oh, wow. What? Oh, my gosh. So much stuff. So much stuff here. What am I supposed to do with all this stuff? Okay, any gloves anywhere? Oh, there's that. Ah, and that. Okay. What did that do? Okay. Moving the levers align the gear wheel so that the entire mechanism would start moving. Oh, they did it. Okay. Yeah, I, I knew what I was doing. Yeah, I, I wasn't doing it randomly. I knew what I was doing. I'm just that good. Got me a knife. Yeah. That was actually me being random with it. I would like to think that's me being good, but I'm... I'm not completely delusional. Just mildly delusional. We got it. You need those three, okay. That, that. Da, 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 da. Oh. Is that? Oh yeah, that is part of it. Okay. I was reaching for the springs, but I grabbed the. I grabbed something else. I need to get the relay connected to the network. Lay out the electrical path so all the bulbs will would line up. Okay, hmm. Okay, um, hmm. Oh, dang, I screwed up. Dang it. Hmm, this one I may go into skill. Okay, I think I screwed up again. Yep, I have. And that one we're just gonna skill. Cause it, that one looks like it would take the, quite a bit of trial and error. A remote control. Oh, can we use this on the uh, on the thing? Suck it, robot. Well done.
done, Emily. You're just as naive as <laughs> me activating my relay and returning the control <laughs> to me. Wow. Yes, I've got your precious Fred. But that should be the least of our worries. You and I have an altogether different destiny. Uh-oh. Looks like the robot wants to grow. No, Robo. No groping. No Robo groping. All right, Emily. Why don't you wait here a while? I'll be right back, and we will finally get married. Us, <laughs> you and me. I have to say, I love that. I love the acting. I love that acting. It's hilarious. Well, I think that's a good place to call it. <laughs> anyway, guys. Yeah, that's definitely a good place to call it. Yeah, we're, we're, we're over two-thirds of the way done, aren't we? Oh, wait, no, we're not. Hmm. Okay, never mind. Okay. Forget I said that. But yeah, that, that's it. That's it for today's episode. I do sincerely hope you all enjoyed. I know I did, especially there at the, there at the end of this one. And I'll uh, see you in the next one, folks. Farewell.